Hello. Welcome to another segment of Tech. Yes. Alexis K. Tyler, Celebrity Reads. I am here to do Nipsey Hustle Part 2. Hey, everybody. If you can't see it tonight, it's okay. I'll leave it here tonight, and you can watch it tomorrow and whenever you have the chance. Hey, Katina. Thank you for letting everybody know I was on my way, running late. Now, y'all know I'm on goddamn um, color people time. You know I'm ghetto. So, you know I'll say one time, but you know that automatically mean in the hood that if I say I'm coming on 11, they're going to be like 11.30, 12. Now, you know Everybody, hey TK, hey dude. <laughs> now look, I got to explain some shit to y'all about this read because I'm saying it's part two with Nipsey Hustle, but I'm gonna be back doing um some more follow up readings on Nipsey Hustle. Let me tell you, the weirdest thing happened, um, yes, yes, Tika, we'd be vamping, with Nipsey Hussle is because I have been talking to him over the past couple of days, and a couple of nights ago, when I was looking at his reading, talking to him, because you know what, this reading is so deep, I have to come back, so I'm not going to be here this long tonight, uh, because... There are spirits over the reading that are talking to me, and I'm not finished talking to them yet. And there's a main female that's over the reading. So I will try to, at least by next week, I'll try to, as soon as I can, come back. Hey, Kia, come back and finish the segments. I don't know how many segments I'm going to do on Nipsey Hustle, but as long as you all ask me to do them, and keep up with it because, you know, the, we haven't even gotten to the case. So, we don't know when that's going to happen, the trial. And that's going to be crazy. We don't know what's going to happen with Eric Holder. So, we got a long time to work on this. And then I have to come back with the um, Wendy Williams one because I really want to see what's going on with that one and then R. Kelly. So, we got a lot of stuff going on. I will try. Hi, Dada. Hi, beautiful. Okay, let me tell you what, what happened. Um... When I was working on Nipsey Hustle and I was talking to his spirit, the one that I told you uh, about the cobra, the spitting cobra. Okay, she's here. She's been here in the house. And I'm going to show you something. I forgot to bring it down this time, but it's okay because I'm going to, you know, keep doing them. Because I have a cobra, uh, the, uh, actually the statue. And it was given to me like probably 20, 25 years ago. And it's amazing. I didn't quite know what it meant until now. Um, because it's black and red, and when I looked at, hi Ashley, uh, the, the goddess over this, she's in Ethiopia, and she actually goes back to the original story of creation, which you know is Ethiop in Ethiopia, she's connected to the Virgin Mary, well she is the Virgin Mary, but the other name that I found, how I found her, uh, is, uh, Atete, and she moves through the line from mother to daughter, but she's in Nipsey Hussle's Armias's, you know, this is name, Armias family bloodline. So she moved through one of the female ancestors, probably her his father's um, Nipsey's father's mother. Yeah, the serpent people. And we've been talking, uh, which is quite fascinating to me, because I know I also have serpent people. And my bloodline have always have followed me, because this lady, when my son was little, she gave me the cobra statues that I have. It's a, a mama and a baby. And she told me, she said, I don't know why I, I would never part with these statues, but something told me to give them to you. She said, they've always brought me good luck, but I have to give them to you. And I've carried them with me everywhere that I've moved, even though I didn't quite understand why. Now, hey, Linda. Hey, my beautiful sister. You know, we get, well, I'm going to tell you, but we, I think we, no, I'm surprised I'm going to say it. 
when I was writing down what she was wanting me to say, Nipsey jumps in and takes over. Hi, Bobby. I love you. That's my big brother, Bobby. <laughs> Y'all not going to believe this. Nipsey steps in and he says, let me, hi, Sharon, let me put this on hold. He said, Alexis, I need you to do me a favor. And I said, okay, Nipsey, but I'm trying to listen to, like, your, one of your mother guardians, one of the high priests. He said, yeah, but before you finish that and do that reading, he said, I need you to, how did he say? He wanted me to deliver a message. He asked me, you all are not going to believe this, to do a reading on his baby mama, Tanisha. And I said, Nipsey, how am I going to do a reading on your first baby mama, Tanisha, and give it to her? I don't know them. He said, that's all right. I need you to do this reading for me because I'm worried about her. I say, okay. So I looked and uh, my sister sent me the picture. And I looked at the, over here in Brazil, we have Oshun Mare. It's a snake. That means a universal prosperity. That's what this snake got is for fertility, prosperity, protection, from enemies at the head of the snake in the tail creates infinity. Yes, and the Dahomey people in Benin. Yes, and that was also what came up in his reading. Um, like the symbol of the eight, the Ouroboros, the snake eating itself, which goes in a circle. Hey, Sharon. So I'm looking and I said, he kept bothering me about it, and I said. Because I said, well, maybe I'm not hearing him correctly. Yeah, Katina sent me the picture. Uh, let's get into the, to the gang banging mom. Katina. So I thought it was me. I, I literally sat back to, I sat up till three in the morning this morning. And I went back and forth with Nipsey for hours because I thought I wasn't hearing him. Or, or, or I was listening to another spirit. And I said, are you sure, Nipsey? Is this real Nipsey? And he kept saying, he said, please. He stood in front of me. And I said, but why when you're with Lauren? And he said, I really need you to, to put this message out for my first baby mama, Tanisha. So tonight, we're not going to do a whole bunch about Nipsey. I'm going to get to him in a few days. So if y'all don't want to hear this, y'all can go on. And I want to say, you know, these are spiritual readings. Um, these are for entertainment purposes only. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't know these folk. I don't know these people. I'm just doing spiritual readings and all this shit is alleged. What you sorry for? So, okay. I'm seeing, I'm telling you what I'm getting in the spirit. These are just, these are spiritual readings now. I ain't gossiping. I gave in and I said, okay. I started writing and it bothered me. What I was writing, sure, Dada, anytime you want me to, we can read each other. He, Nipsey told me, I saw him walking into Tanisha's house, and I saw her picture where she called herself his last name, Tanisha Ashkidam. So I don't know her, her other name. I don't know her birth name she used before she got with Nipsey. But I saw that they were, hi, Ben, hi, Johnny. They were childhood sweethearts. They've known each other for a very long time. I guess they grew up together. Nipsey has been going on, because uh, I saw pictures of them, and they were very young. They looked like very young kids. I, Nipsey told me that he's been going to her house, watching her, watching Tanisha, seeing how she's doing. And I saw they, they have a daughter together. I don't know how old the daughter is. If somebody can tell me, please let me know because I heard him say something about the number 10. So I don't know if she's 10 or close to 10. I'm not sure he just said that number to me. So I'm trying to figure out what 10, the number 10 means. Uh, how long he's known the mother. Thank you. And he said, he. I saw him in her house and I saw him watching her. Well, yes, that's why I ain't want to say, Nikki. I was, I, 
because it was kind of fucked up. He said, tell her, tell Tanisha that I love her and that I want her to take care of herself because she, I saw her out of the public eye. I saw other people celebrating Nipsey's life and celebrating uh, at the funeral, as you know, it was a beautiful funeral. And I saw Tanisha pulling back from everybody. In the public, because she came up as a full cup, she don't want to talk to nobody. She don't want to deal with nobody. But I seen that she was on drugs either and a drunk. Either she drink and get high or she do both. I don't want to say that. She a junkie. That's, that's what Nipsey told me, that she real loose and wow. And he said, I love her. He said, but I don't want to be with her. He said, but that don't mean that I dislike her or that I hate her. He said, so tell her that I love her. I will always love her and my, my daughter and I'll make sure that she's taken care of. He said, but he used to go over there. And they used to do a lot of fucking. I, Lord, I didn't want to say that. See, hey, Sharon, see, that's why I didn't want to say this stuff. She said it used to do a lot of wild fucking and she get high. And like the drink, it was she real freaky like. What she do about anything. And he said that's they had a deep sexual connection. I don't... I, I, I mean, Nipsey, let me tell you something about him. I love his spirit. He's, he's a beautiful spirit. He's a good man. He, the way he treat women, I see why they like him. And he say, when he would go over there, I see him standing by her. The way, the way he is with a woman, when they're private, he's very smooth. The way he walks, the way he talks, he would stand by Tanisha in a certain way. And then come up against her like from the back and kind of from the side and rub on her booty. Like rub his dick on that. He's laughing. Okay. <laughs> they was real freaky. And yeah, and that's, yeah, they did a lot of fucking. And see, he said he liked it that about her because they had a deep sexual connection. But I keep saying that this girl's a junkie. And that's why he say that he's worried about her because he says she's doing a lot of drinking. Even though you don't see her and she's not saying anything, he said that she's not saying anything in public. But on the low, I'm seeing this here and that bottom is she has an addiction to drugs and alcohol. She is very upset, very heartbroken because her lover is dead. And that's what I'm kind of, so she was born in 2011. Thank you. So I, I, I was bothered by that because I saw that when she, she was very upset because they had a lot of hot sex together. And now she's very depressed because it's saying here her lover's dead. So I said, well, wh why is she drinking and getting high, Nipsey and Still, he says she's still in love with him. She still wanted to be with him and have a sexual relationship with him. And he said that he did not trust her. And then this serpent goddess that's on Nipsey, when, when he would go around her, the serpent goddess is telling me that she did not like Tanisha because she felt like Tanisha would hurt Nipsey. I, I, I don't know why I'm feeling that they're saying this. And Nipsey said it too. They had some heated arguments and disagreement. And said Tanisha can be violent, treacherous, and vindictive. She can be... She has split personalities. Where she can be one person one minute. And then she get on that shit. And then get the rope, like, I don't know, 
it just came on me. What she just like the fuck that's like she easy the fuck. He said not just him. And this female serpent spirit that's on him, that's also in the house, talking to me, saying that she would she could have put him at risk to be killed. That's how I don't want to say. I, and, and then I seen this dark-skinned man at her house. I, and, and Nipsey showed him to me. And then I looked at the man. I said, well, Nipsey, what are you saying? He said he don't like me. He jealous of me. Because he's with Tanisha. But he know Tanisha's still in love with me. And won't to be with me, so he has a grudge and a lot of resentment towards Tanisha. I want Tanisha to let this go and stop thinking about him and move on with her life and start over, but she's obsessed. Yes, can you? I was wondering about that, and, and then my girlfriend mentioned that to me today. I said, okay. Because I was like, I don't know if I should say this. Am I hearing, hearing the wrong thing? Because Nipsey said she could be vicious and very aggressive. And I seen her and she's a small girl. She's a small lady. So I wonder if Tanisha, yeah, Katina sent me the picture. I wonder if Tanisha and London were both trained since they were both young women. Were trained like what? Because I, I saw Tanisha holds grudges. She doesn't forget anything. And then for some ways, I see again, this is a three-way relationship. And I'm asking Nipsey about this. And I'm like, Nipsey, you need to tell me. Because I'm wondering why you're worried about it. He said, because I don't want her to kill herself. I don't want her to hurt herself. I don't want anybody else to do anything to her. He, and, and, and it shows here, she feels isolated and alone. Because nobody is really paying her attention. She's not the center of of attention actually there's a she's very hostile she's very angry she's very aggressive she feels like she's been done wrong she has not been treated fairly she's also worried about money so i don't know if she's been given any money or if there's going to be some type of meeting or if there's going to be a court proceeding uh, or, or a legal meeting for her to have everything in writing and get whatever she's supposed to get for her daughter. But she's thinking about that and she is extremely angry. And she has a mental problem. She has a mental problem. She has an emotional problem. She has an aggression problem. She has an anger problem. She feels like she was done. Just feel like she was cheated. And she feels like she was cheated out of this man. And she's extremely jealous of Lauren. And Nipsey started to... Okay, let me tell you something too. It's like, I, I keep seeing this and I don't know why. I saw the pregnancy again last night. I don't know who pregnant. But then I see it keeps coming up. I picked the cards up, shoved them. They are, this is a three-way relationship. I don't know why you see the. I keep seeing there are two women in this relationship. And then when I asked about her, there are two men. And one of them, they doing, been doing some heavy fucking. That's, that's. Fans have been saying really. I don't, what, this man just come in and out. And I keep hearing drugs. I keep hearing drug doing Drug selling, drunk, alcoholic. Hey, Falana, I, I can't, Joanna. I keep seeing that and a lot of fighting and bullying and jealousy and competition. That's what keeps coming up here. And then I look at the family. It's a problem with her and Nipsey's family. Because people don't like her. And she's not being embraced by the family, oh uh, wow, this snake here, this, uh, this, the cobra's here, and it's, 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 it's scraped this damn fang on my arm, 
She gets upset when I mention this girl. She don't like this. I don't want to say this, but she don't like the girl. She keep saying the girl is in danger. The girl better watch herself. I don't know why these spirits are saying this girl better watch herself. Because it's a deaf spirit on her. I see it in her chest. And I'm really wondering about this girl's body or the girl's health. Because these spirits, I don't know if, if she, if they're saying this because of whatever she's taking, that she's drinking and she's doing drugs. They keep showing her as a junkie, but also showing the man around her, this dark-skinned man who is glad Nipsey dead. That's what I, Tanisha is his first baby mama. She got the little girl by him. The little girl was with him at the Grammys. Beautiful little girl. She looked just like Nipsey. Yes, the girl crazy. I hate to say that. Because she's also very sad. She's also heartbroken and very depressed because she still wanted to be with Nipsey, and I said, well, Nipsey, what, what do you mean? He said, I, he said he would go there, he said and they were off and on for a period, because he saw her, and he saw Lauren. At one point, he, I'm talking about Lauren, I'm talking about Tanisha, but at some point, I don't know, I could be getting it wrong, I don't see, I never heard of them, I never, I know who Lauren London is, but then I, I think I had heard of Nipsey, but I didn't really know nothing about him until now, when people asked me to look at him like five days before he died, and if I'm hearing it correctly, he said at one point, he cheated on Lauren, and he cheated on the baby mama, he was in between these women, he cheated on the baby mama, and the baby mama, she sure do look like this. I'm beautiful babies. He made pretty babies. And Lauren, I'm not, excuse me, not Lauren, Tanisha, like he was in between, uh, he, said, he said he was in between with Lauren and he was in between with Tanisha. And he was having sex. It's kind of like, how can, I'm trying to explain like he was saying it to me. It's like, I, got, I love Tanisha. We known each other. We go way back. Like she cool. And I, I felt comfortable and safe being around her. You know, in the first beginning years. Until she started to change. And then he said who she was running with. The type of activities that she got in. And then he showed me something about she got weapons. Like I seen a blade. And I see guns. I see drugs. He said she was kind of like turning bad. You know, where she was getting involved with drugs and weapons. She's doing this. Like she's some kind of uh, fighter. The men and women she was running with. So I'm wondering if she's a gang member. Because of what she liked it. It made her feel powerful, and these people she was with, and even these men and the women she was with, was encouraging her to do this. And then I'm feeling, oh, I feel it in my body, like in my vagina and all around my hips and stuff. It was something about her. There you go, Nikki, because that's what he said. The way she's moving, like she, she she's a good, she like to fuck. She's real freaky. And she, especially don't let her get no drink or stuff in her. And, and they like that. Men like that. They be with her because it's whatever. And then she like some point she go both ways or she'll get freaky if that's what the nigga want. And the way my body moving, like I don't have more than one baby. So I'm, I'm, I'm literally her right now. I'm feeling, oh baby, she's a natural woman. I could feel that, because that midsection and the way I'm trying not to roll. See, I don't like to always try to get in, in people's body and shit to channel them. I don't, I, I don't know, because I see she's very violent. Like, she done got violent, but nigga, she was fucking. 
but she was between two men's. And I see it right here. And it looked like I done had more than one. I got a boy. I got a girl. But is it a second girl? Or, or did she get rid of a girl? Are there two boys and a girl? Or is it two girls and a boy? I'm trying to. Like I'm feeling her. I mean, I personally only have one, but I'm just saying, this is that, uh, this not me. Even though you hear me talking, allegedly, I'm in her body. I feel as her, her spirit in my womb. And I'm feeling her energy in my vagina. I, as Tanisha, I'm like, I'm just popping my pussy and now I'm add more than one chair. I got some children. I ain't just got one. Look, y'all stop that. I'm dead serious when I just feel it down in my ass. I ain't trying to feel this shit, but I just want to get up and just roll. I just, I need some music. I can just pop my pussy. I just want to take that up. That, like, it, she just, she just, she like to roll with it. That. <sighs> Whoo, boy. She's on. I feel it down in, in my soul, in my ass. That's why she just whatever comes. She just do what she feel. You know what I'm saying? I just want to, I just wish I had some music right now. So I can just get up off this line. I don't want to talk to y'all right now. I just want to drop it low. That's why I see her doing. <laughs> oh, have mercy. That, that's what Nipsey liked about her too until the crazy part. Hey, Vanilla, <laughs> the crazy part. I ain't know they were going to get all like that. Lord, have me. the snake breathing, it got a tool. It don't like her. Said that it broke her and Nipsey up. That spirit on Nipsey. Because he, the snake said he was going to kill her. And I said, why you got to do all that? He said, because she was going to kill him. He said she was going to open Nipsey up to be killed. Said she got four different niggas saying she loved and they died. All of them died, girl. Oh, hell no. So she got that graveyard put. Oh, hell no. I know. That, see, that's what the snake saying to me. That she, she didn't give fuck with her. They come up missing. See, that's what the serpent saying right now. They said that's why I don't like her head. And I said, you broke them up. He said, I, it's a she. Said she can't stand Tanisha because of the spirit on her. And that's what Nip was trying to tell me. He said, I love her from, she was like round the way girl. And we grew up together. And we were very close. Excuse me. Then he say, the people she was hanging around, then he said she do that shit and drank. And then pop, you know, she been with different men. And he said that's why he kind of start doing what he do. See, he wasn't the only one that was fucking somebody else. Because she had that gray yard pussy. Nigga, fuck her, come up dead. Come up missing. Got bodies on her. On her pussy. Got bodies on it. See, that's what this, that's what this serpent told me. Thank you, Philanda, for uh, confirming it. Because I said, why is this cobra so hostile? Talk to me, this girl will kill people, killing niggas and shit. And they come up something wrong with them since she turned and get treacherous. And he said she got aggressive with him. And Nipsey was saying he didn't want that type of relationship. We got to fight with the woman. He, it, it was danger. I literally felt danger when he would be in the house around her. So I said, I'm trying to, I'm, I need to try to get the words to explain what you're saying, Nipsey. Because he said, I do love Tanisha and I am concerned about her. Tell her that I do love her. And I don't want anything to happen to her. But he said. At the same time. He had to move on. It, 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 it's like. 
how, how can I say, like he was saying, I love her, but her as a person and her personality and the people she dealt with and the influence, he said she easy to be influenced. He was like, I, my heart started to change and I didn't want to be there. I didn't want to be be with her, although I love her, and I don't want anything to happen to her, and I will take care of my child with her. I love, he's just in love with his child. He said, but this, he knew, it was always this. It was it was always a problem. And then, yes, yes, Lon, he said it was toxic. And then he said, when he got, I said, well, what's the difference between her and Lauren? It's a totally different kind of energy and every time I looked at Lauren came up as this the Tanisha she comes up like this and she also imposed these prisons on herself so he said to me last night he said when I got with Lauren, it's like a breath of fresh air. The energy and the vibration was very, very high. And he said, she's my trophy girl. She, she's, she's the arm candy and she's influential. He looks to her like big. He said, she's the star. And she, he felt opened, he felt like he could have the world when, with Lauren. She opened up a whole nother world to him to go wherever he wanted to go. And, oh, I'm emotional. I feel like cry. Oh, he getting emotional like he wants to cry and he said he loves her because he said she she believed in him she loved him and encouraged him to believe that he could do anything and he said the way she would talk to him Nipsey's with a woman you know what I wonder too it's a relative. She's been with him in here the past couple of days. So I'm wondering, is it a grandmother? I know I saw the one grandmother that's alive. I wonder, is there another grandmother that's not in her body? Oh, good Nikki. It's, it's a, she loves him. She was with him last night in here. And yes, he said Lauren's vibration made him feel sexy and alive it the energy was so high he's like it was like a, a a rush that went through him she made him feel like a man i mean even though of course you know he's a man and he knew he was a man but he said every woman oh, i just felt something moving every woman does not make a man feel the same way even though they got a pussy, they have sex, whatever. It, 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 she, it's like she gave him a charge, like a boost of energy. It was spiritual. Yes, she knew how to make him feel that. But see, you know what? It wasn't just sexual. With him and Lauren, oh, uh, yeah, they, they're here. I actually feel a lion here, too. So, where the, what is the lion? It must have something to do with Nipsey because it's a lion. It's a big lion. Uh, the mane is about big like this. It's huge. Hi. It's huge. <laughs> I've never been visited by a lion before. It's it's here. It's it's Nipsey's ancestors. And the female that, that knows Nipsey, she's here. She's in all white. I, oh wow, the death, I'm not, he's huge, but I'm not scared of him because I don't feel like him to to me. Okay, yeah, y'all see, I, the, the damn, the, the Lion King and all kind of motherfucker just walk up in this bitch whenever the fuck they feel like it. 
I might have to damn put y'all on hold to get me some damn liquor because I don't know what the fuck else gonna come at your neck. <sighs> They're protecting him. I see Holly Selassie. Okay. He's a Leo. Okay, he's a Leo. Oh. It's here. It's chilling. It's up under Nipsey. <laughs> Oh boy. Um, so with with Lauren, I just feel the the energy, the high vibration, and he's saying, I did hit it. I did go back a few times. But I she tried to make me choose, and she tried to fight me and make me choose. He said, but I couldn't. I said, why couldn't you? He said, Be I didn't want to go back to that because I knew that it wasn't going to be anything but drama and arguments and possessiveness and she's unstable. That's what he kept saying and on that shit that got a habit. She's a... Uh, the vibration is very low, and I keep hearing, I hate to say it, but I hear the word danger with her. Danger inside of her, and danger around her. When I say danger inside of her, because she is very angry. Very resentful, very spiteful, very vengeful, and the family is fighting. She's fighting with somebody. There's some shit going on behind the scenes. There's some arguments and disagreement, and they don't really want her to have anyone that they do. Everyone that she look like she on dope. Philanda. I ain't seen this. See, I don't want to watch too much. I like to watch shit after. Because I don't. I want to make sure that I'm using my ability to do my job. Of course, all this shit is alleged. I don't want to know until after. So now, man, it's okay. you telling me. But it's showing. I kept re... I saw dick and dope. That's why I seen. And liquor. Alcohol. With her... Hi, Haki. That's what I see. It's a problem. And that's why Nipsey told me, put the message out, said Lauren, because he was very, she used to be in a lot of videos. What do you mean videos? What kind of video? Mm. And I saw the selfishness in trying to hold on to what she feels belongs to her, but it looks like she has a money flow problem. So I don't know what type of job she has. Does she work or has the family already given her some money since it's so much money? And that's what I kept saying. And that the, the um, king of pentacles comes up again. That's the man that has the underworld ties, deals with politics, uh, possible gang affiliation. And this is a very high ranking individual, a very powerful individual that calls a lot of shots, pays a lot of people's bills, even bribes people to do things because he's so powerful, he has money. For some reason, I see him around this girl. He's in this circle, and she is very, very there are a lot of secrets with this girl. There are a lot of unknown, hidden things and lies with this woman. But for some reason, I see her connected to a very powerful man that makes money, the king of pentacles, and a lot of money, as you know, as I said in the first reading, has been made. They're saying there were, what, two million orders at Marathon Store. And Nipsey made sure that the children would be taken care of before he was murdered. A lot of money being made. And this man, this King of Pentacles, it's sad to say he's actually glad that
that Nipsey's dead and he's making a lot of money as a result of it. But for some reason, maybe she doesn't know. But he looks like he's talked to her or approached her for some type. If it's not a love relationship, it's some type of business. So, oh, really? She's close to Nipsey's father. She studied with Queen of Four. Because I don't, I know you're not talking about Tanisha, right? To, to, that's what I'm talking about. Tanisha, the first baby mom. She's close to Nipsey's father. Because I, I would be surprised because I'm seeing that a cycle is coming to a close with the family. Oh, Lauren, okay. With the family, with Tanisha, there are some disagreements and conflict within the family. And there is fighting about possessions, things, money. So I'm wondering why is that coming up or have they made arrangements to give her what she's needing? And then I saw too, Tanisha needs to be careful about the men she's associating with because if she's given money who for Lana, who's always going to be family because it shows there's a problem with nipsey's family and the way th their interactions with tanisha or i don't know if she has a a problem with them that's not all peaceful or maybe everyone in that his family doesn't like her or doesn't want to embrace her as a family member. And I'm also seeing that there's like a, a sneakiness or, or a treacherousness about her. And I don't know, Philanda, because that's not what it's that's not what's showing here. And I kept picking them up, reshuffling, looking at the cards. And it didn't say the family was in love with her. It said Tanisha helped him with the business, with the drug money. Okay, that would make sense because it still shows she's involved with drugs. And doing the drugs. is showing drug selling and drinking with her. And there is things hidden about her. D d d conning, treacherousness with her sneakiness spying and she needs to be careful because some of these men that she may deal with will try to take steal from her take her money so whatever it is she's getting somebody is she's told them and they're expecting her to get this so it also shows she needs to be careful so that worried about the daughter saying with her really but saying that to be funny Oh, they're saying that there's someone that she's dealing with that knows her situation and knows she's going to get a certain amount of money. And they will pretend to care about her to take it, set her up, basically take what she's inheriting because she has the child. So it's, uh, and then it's showing her having to move away from the situation. This, this, she wanted this to continue to be her lover. She wanted them to be married. She wanted him to stop. Well, she's moved away, Nikki, like moved away from the situation because she had to. Not because she wanted to. She just was saying, this is my husband. This is, he's supposed to be with me. Yeah, she needs to be careful. That's what Nipsey was saying. Yes, set up. That's why he said, you have to do this for me now. And he's been bugging me about this for like three days. And we went back and forth, like I said last night, till about three. Because I'm saying, wait a minute, I'm, I'm not sure I'm really hearing this. Are you telling me to do this and stop the reading I'm doing for you? He said, just please. Because she thinks I don't love her. She thinks I don't care. And and I did. He said, and I do. And I've been watching her and it doesn't look good. 
and the men she has around her, he said it doesn't look good. There's trouble and potential death for her. And even what she's doing to herself. Talking about where she lives. I don't know, Nikki. I don't know, baby. You could tell me. I don't know much. I'm just, I tried to hear what he t said. And I said, okay, I promise I will do this for you. So he he, he knows. And the, the female here that I'm wondering, was this, is both grandmothers alive? Or there's another female. This is an older woman. She found him, which is beautiful because he knows he's a relative. And he feels very comfortable with her. And she's, she's standing here with me because she's very protective of him. So she's watching and she's listening. She's like one of his guardians. So it's like, um, really, Renetta, who passed? One is passed. Who, please tell me. Because, okay, there, there's a man. And... I see a smaller one like a child. So I don't know if we can find out if there what child passed in Nipsey's family on the father and mother's side. She's with the lady. And then there's uh the animal, there's the dog. So somebody had a dog on the other side. Yes, yeah, she's with him. She's standing right here and, and he doesn't feel alone. So everyone's protecting Lauren. And leaving her left out to dry. They need to step in whether they like it or not. The mama said it with you. See, I didn't watch the whole funeral, baby. Vernetta. Um, so they're talking to me now. And she's he, he feels safe. Because at first he was alone. And it was really weird. Like, Nipsey, he's... Let me tell you something, Armias. That's such a beautiful name. Armias Nipsey Hussle. Ashkidam and his former manager, Eugene Big U, had a big fight a few years ago. Big U is supposed to be close relative of Denisha. Really? See, I said, I'm going to come back, y'all, so I can look at all the players because I have to look at the one in the wheelchair. And y'all, let me tell you something. My sister can verify this. I told you all I was coming late. She um, was giving me pictures because when I was doing the first reading, I and, and when I was talking about the ants and the cobras getting in the central nervous system and in the bullet hole, they were showing me like a reflective membrane in the parking lot. I. And then they took me in the store and said the shooter had been in the store. I still believe that. And had uh, been there before and walked around. And then when I looked at the picture, T-Mobile keeps coming to me. And I asked my friend, I said, girl, send me a picture. And I saw the cameras watching the whole thing. But then when they sent me the Google picture, it gave a panoramic view. And I kept spinning the picture around. I couldn't see the cameras. I said, something's wrong with this picture. I know the cameras are there. And they kept showing me T-Mobile. And I kept telling her, I said, girl, it's something about that goddamn T-Mobile store that the spirits keep telling me about the T-Mobile and the cameras. And then when I looked again, it looks like a mirror. I, I think it that the paper on the window, is it kind of like that mirror paper? This was reflective paper. I know it's a self, self store, yes. But I'm telling you, it has something to do with this. When I look at it, and then I saw a picture today, I think she showed me, you can see a camera right there on top of the T-Mobile. I, I, I kept telling, I said, girl, the cameras, I can feel them, I can hear them, but I couldn't see them on the picture, so I didn't mention I'm like, this is fucking with me about this T-Mobile and somebody in the T-Mobile stove. Somebody in the stove before the shooting Wayne like to help set this shit up. I, it, it's his though, 
And right now it's still there. And then when I look at the video, which they haven't released all of it, and I didn't see it from inside of his store. So I don't know what Cowboy Num did with the tape where they're going to let us see the footage. It's showing me said it was a dark skinned girl standing in the window after Nipsey got shot. I know, but I get a male and I get a white man. And uh, I will come back with that because I know the one that they that they also shot in the back where they locked him up. They just let him okay. They let him out. And because they locked him up and said that he violated probation by hanging with a gang member. But Nipsey is a former gang member. And now they he said, see, this doesn't make any sense. He had, has been out like for seven months. He did not just get out and need some clothes. He said he didn't tell Nipsey to meet him there. He called Nipsey and Nipsey was already there. Now he's changed. See, it's something about this. And when they had him in jail, he was interviewing with Vlad TV and one of his friends. And it's kind of strange that he is saying he doesn't remember anything. He didn't see anything. When Ipsy was shot and he was shot, he was trying to get out of the way. Because bullets was flying. Say so he don't remember nothing. See... Okay, I'm going to get into that when I come back. Excuse me, back, as we sit down here. Because uh, I'm going to look at that. Who else? I got to look at Cowboy. You know what? It's so many players in this, y'all. We'd be reading all year on this. And like I say, as long as you're interested in this, I will continue to come back because it's interesting to me. Oh, boy. Because the snake done came up in here now. He's with the, the snake on the grandmama. Over there by the grandmama. And so the serpent is clearly in their bloodline. Yes. Now, do y'all know which grandmama passed? Was it the grandmama on his nips and mama side? Or was it the grandmama on the daddy's side? Because it's clear, I looked at them, them Nipsey Mama. She's very spiritual as well. So it's clear that, thank you, Renetta, she has spirits. Nipsey's mother, beautiful woman, beautiful spirit. She has spirits on her family bloodline too. So it looks like she has a mixed bloodline, just like the daddy, Cabo was selling dope. Yes, I believe that. And so I'm um, so both of the sides have spirits on them. And they're coming out. You know, these these spirits are very angry about what they did to Nipsey. And there are things that you're going to see. Uh the different shifts. Oh wow. That's powerful as the daddy side. That would make sense because the snake is with the grandmother. It's a standing cobra. It's literally standing up like a man. Like a human. It's standing on the tail. It's it's about this about this tall. It's real tall. And she's very relaxed with the serpent. This is a green and black one. That that is standing with her. It's like almost like a staff. So she's very, very comfortable with, with this one. Um I think that's about it because I didn't Really want to talk about her too long. I thought y'all would think I was crazy. But I see y'all don't think I'm crazy. Because I'm like, oh my God, what are they going to say? Because I hadn't seen anybody do a reading on Tanisha. It's Tanisha Ashkidam. She uses Nipsey's last name. And I know he gave the daughter his last name. Oh, the police are here. Oh boy. There's going to be some more legal issues that are getting ready to come up. Very soon, and I wonder, are they going to come up around Tanisha? Because I just asked about her and the sneakiness, and the police caught. I don't know why, but it just came up about 
Tanisha, and then when I asked, it's saying, uh, let me see, make sure that I, yes, she's feeling very betrayed as well. Tanisha feels betrayed and backstabbed, and she feels very isolated and alone. I'm telling you all, everybody in Nipsey's family doesn't really embrace Tanisha or hanging out with her or have her around like that. It shows that she's unstable, delusional, and, and, and is either telling lies or telling lies to herself and very emotionally unstable. And he wouldn't commit to her anymore. That was one of her problems. He refused to commit. Grandma on the plane trip. Oh, wow. Serpent standing upright, talking. Yes, Sharon, they are standing upright in this bitch girl. And the grandmama just is relaxed like she know they ass. Because they in her DNA. You know, the DNA is the serpent. And the DNA moves through the base of the spine. She's not, I know, Renetta, she's not. And she feels very isolated by them. But the son came up with the high priestess. And that's Lauren and her boy. They, I see the family loves that boy. And of course we know Nipsey loves that boy. And watches over um, the son. And he, she got upset because he told her, even though he had did his little fucking around, Lauren's my wife. I'm going to commit to her. I'm going to be with her. I'm not going to leave her and come back to you. But I, I do. I love you, though. You see what I'm saying? That sounds kind of hard for a bitch to hear. You see what I'm saying? Somebody said they may try to get me. Yeah, you know, some it's hard for you to hear. Somebody tell you they love you, but they really know that they spirit, they heart, and the new phase of their life is with another woman. And they're going to marry another woman. So he was trying to talk at the funeral debate. Aww. They may gang cut. Yeah, it's finna be some liquor shit go down, y'all. I guess the only way we'll hear to see it if it come out in, in the public because she laying low. Well, she laying low in public. But in private, she's off the chain. She's unhinged. She's having a very hard time with this. And I'm telling y'all, she does that shit that allegedly I see in the spirit. That's the grandmama going along with the shit I see. Huh? She said she ain't going along with the shit. Now, I have to say allegedly because I don't know how to find out. You know, I don't, I don't know nobody know them. But I'm sure eventually... If I'm getting the wrong shit, or the right shit, it's going to come out either way. Nah. What else? Uh, it's also showing the justice and kind of like, girl, we still waiting on the shit because justice, no justice. Just like we know he's locked up, but at the same time, we don't know how this shit going to go. We don't know what he going to say. We don't know when the trial come up. Is there going to be a trial? Is he going to plead? Or they're going to see he's guilty? If he really, is he going to get time? Is he going to get the adequate sentence? We don't know. Because right now it's showing justice and no justice. This has not been worked out. It's unresolved right now. Even though this man is locked up. I don't. No, girl, we just going to keep looking at this shit. Because, uh, well, what I'm seeing here and all this bullshit right here, and this and this also came up, now that's about her, it's an inside job, and they had a secret relationship. Now, <laughs> thank you, Sharon. I don't want to say that they was fucking in 2019. Okay. She just posted a video on Instagram. You synced it. 
Let's see what she look like. What she doing. Let's see if we can heal. Because they're saying this girl really, uh, oh, she posted an Easter egg with Nipsey name. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? She, she, they said post the IG name, y'all. She look, she's, she's still thinking about her baby daddy and that pipe laying baby. He laughed. <laughs> Let me tell you how Nipsey is. He's, he's, his spirit's very cool. He's, he's very easygoing, uh, easy to get along with. He was messing with me last night. I, I, I how, do, how do I explain it? I don't know. It's like, as I'm doing these readings, I, I learned so much about myself and the spirits teach me. Just like I was laughing with somebody today. They said, well, is your rest and why don't you get them demons out of the house? I said, they're not, it's not their fault. I don't ask them to leave because I learned so much from them that I let them stay as long as they need to. Yes, I heard it too. Yeah. And I was dozing off and I felt Nipsey. It was like he was inside of me and I, I thought it was me because I was going to sleep, but I was halfway here and halfway in another dimension. And I looked down, but I knew it wasn't me because I heard Nipsey and I felt him in my body. Thank you, Ace. And I was, it was him, but it was like, I'm trying to explain. I know y'all gonna think this is crazy. It was, it looked like my arm, but it was his arm and it was his chest and I saw bullet holes and blood was leaking out of the bullet holes and I was looking down at them, but then I woke up and I realized it was him too. He was looking down at his bullet holes. Even though, you know, they're not on the arm. And I woke up and I said, Nipsey, you, the way he is, he got, he was out of his body, but he was examining his own, oh, I just felt him get on me. Like, touch me. Like, you know, when, when I'm talking, it's okay, what I'm saying. But I just felt him, like, come near me. He has a white t-shirt on. Actually, he has on what he had on that day. Oh. And he looked like they took the shirt off. And he was outside of his body looking at the wounds. Because he's very analytical, very intellectual. He wanted to know the why. He wanted to know the how, what it looked like. But he was letting, I guess by him getting me, he was letting me see. It. So I was learning from him and it was like it was superimposed on my body. He was like sharing it with me. So, excuse me, I was almost sleeping. I go, because I'm halfway in and I'm looking and I said, oh. I saw like one, two, I saw three of them down here. And then I woke back up. And he let me, he said, that's me. I was inspecting them. And I said, so what did you do? You, you waited. He said, yes. After they had, no, it's not weird. It's good. Do spirits change clothes? How they do. Like when my father comes to me, like for you don't know, the entertainer, Mr. Excitement, the singer Jackie Wilson's my father. He will come dressed in different clothes, different colors, different outfits. When he comes to see me, because my father loves clothes. If you go look at his videos on YouTube and type in Jackie Wilson and singing, every time he sings and he wears outfits, he was a sharp dresser. And he loved like all the court, color coordinated clothes and the shark skin suits and a lot of stuff he wore then is still hot now. 
So they do change. And he let me see him when he has white tee on. And when they took it off, the way he is now, he's he's not angry right now. But he does get that way. And he misses being here. He's not crossed over. He cannot right now. And I hope he does not right now. Because the grandmother is standing here. She's like, no. He's not. He said, she said, we're traveling together. Because she's teaching him things. But he cannot cross over. Because he said, well, the, the way it happens. When people are murdered, they don't cross over quickly like that. There are things to work through. Because he wasn't ready to leave. He misses being in his body. He misses his life. He's checking on everybody. He misses the baby. He misses his lover. His music, his store, the plans that he had, the plans they had together, the projects they were going to work on, the things they were bringing to the world, the Dr. Sabi uh, documentary, the I Hear Products, Food, things. He didn't want to leave. And he doesn't want to leave this plane now. So he, he his moods shift right now. He's here. He's not angry. He, he's, he's a beautiful spirit spirit a big heart and he says he still has a lot of things to do that he's still gonna do you see how he's influencing people here now and the things they do because of him and even changed me and influenced me and i i love him coming to me and speaking to me tell me to check this check that he's he has a very analytical mind and things that he doesn't know he'll go study and find out just like when he was saying well i was moving around my body and I was looking at the holes and the diameter of them. And I was measuring them. And I was looking at the depths of them. And he said, in the way the blood leaks to determine what I was shot with. What I was hit with. And I'm like, I'm about to show And I go, oh. Now I'm looking at the holes. And, I'm, and I was like, he's like, that's me. And I said, thank you. Wait a minute. You're analyzing the holes. He said, I need to know. I had to go around my whole body. I was walking around my body looking at it and studying how my body died, how that happened. Oh, no, the grandmother's crying. She, she saw it. That's bothering her. This is what you all don't know. We have ancestors they know when someone's going to die but i have to talk to you about this later because this is what i also understood yes about this reading it wasn't his time at 33 but let me tell you something that he told me and the spirits told me i have to explain it to you the next time someone Okay, in order for Eric Holder to line up with the energetic field and the number field, because your body is based on binary code, just like a computer is based on binary code, it mirrors the binary code of the human body. So your body is first numbers. But it is, a, it is energy, and it is based on quantum time and quantum math. Not linear time like on a clock. That doesn't exist. You have to line up the number field of Eric Holder, and you would have to line up the karmic agreement, which would just be one possible reality, because there are several realities that we can take. The timing of Nipsey's vibration is higher and faster than Eric Holder's. He was moving in another direction. To line up the numerology and the astrology 
of Eric Holder and Nipsey Hussle. We are Myers, the highest vibration. You'd first have to track him and stalk him and do a magic ritual so that you can speed Eric Holder's vibration up while simultaneously slowing Nipsey Hussle's vibration and number feel down so that they will merge at the same time to put him in a location where you can prematurely execute him. But Nipsey didn't know. No, let me take that back. Because a few days before that, maybe he didn't know that day, a few days before that, he had done a music video with that singer. With John Legend, I think. There were threats on Nipsey Live, and they had increased the security. Remember that? That was like three or four days before he was executed. See? The ritual had already started. The vibration had already been put. See, that's why you have to listen and watch. Because you don't know who don't fucking like you and who jealous of you. See? Because I've had shit like that happen to me. Well, motherfuckers will set your goddamn ass up and tell you to be a certain place, a certain time, or spend a night here, or hang there. Just like when I put on the, um, my Facebook page of my own niece, which is my half-sister daughter, threatened to, try to physically, phys threatened to physically assault me in my own house a couple months ago. But her homeless, hungry ass want to stay here. She ain't got mad. Because I won't let you stay here and use me. And let me tell you something. When she stayed here with my grandmother, I didn't leave my house because my spirits told me don't leave my house because she's roguish. And she wanted to go through my shit and steal something from me. Hey, Candace. And when I got up, I felt that shit in her mind. And I felt them gang members. And she wanted to bring... Them gang members because some of the niggas was coming up outside picking her up. And I said, oh, no, no, you ain't going to have that in here. I knew she was trying to set my ass up. And I'm like, y'all got to go. Then that's when the dirty shit came. I see, that's another show. Get the lion. You with the grandma in there. Your yeah, homeless, hungry ass. Roguish ass. See, they know they were going to pull that shit on me before they got here. But see, I peaked it. I ain't talking about, oh, I need to go. I ain't got no gas in my car. Got no gas. You ain't finna lure me out and line them numbers up on my ass. Have them come steal from me and, and shoot my damn ass and rob me and fuck me. No, you know what I'm fuck me? Uh-uh. See, people will try to speed up your goddamn demise. See, some they want from you, some they want to steal from you, jealous of you, or some motherfucker sick, they got them ass on you to do some shit that they... Ain't got the fucking guts to do or don't want to want you to know that they feels that way about your ass. So sick another motherfucker up to do the shit. See, so they are lining up to extinguish you before your appointed time to leave the earth. But at the same time, some shit still be allowed to happen. So yeah, that's why I said, wait a minute, let me take that back. Because there have been death threats on Nipsey. But he probably didn't see or who he thought it was. They had somebody else so he wouldn't peep the shit. But you know, it sounds weird to me 
because Cowboy sat there and said, we don't let no anybody up, up in this mall. There can't no anybody come up in this parking lot. Well, why did you let Eric Holder up there? You said he was anybody. You said that he wasn't y'all friend, and y'all don't fuck with him, even though you know him, but you don't really, you know of him, but you don't fuck with him. He not in y'all circle like that. Oh, how can it be slowed down? Well, like I was saying, when you deal with someone on a spiritual level, you can actually do a curse on them and send the spirit around them. And it then attaches itself to the aura and the aura of all things that are associated with you to shift the timing of your vibration and lower it. See, a lot of y'all don't want to believe this shit real, but everything is first spirit, mind, consciousness, and spirit before it becomes physical. These things happen higher up before they happen physically. When you see somebody shot, the fucker was shot already on the higher field. On the energy plane. When you see it done in the physical, that's the second time this shit was done. You think that's the first time this shit was done? This shit was done on the higher plane first. Even in a visualization or thought, you're walking through it. Then this, you go and materialize it in the flesh. And people do that. They walk it out. Like that. On a higher level, you have to sync the two vibrations at a certain place in time. Now I see a white man there. That's all I'm going to say about that there. These things are set up like that. So he was there. Yes. Yes. You're absolutely right, Ronald. Yes, you're, you're absolutely right. Okay. Well, I didn't want her reading to be that long. I'm surprised. I'm so glad y'all received it because I just know that y'all were going to think I was crazy as hell. Because I'd be thinking I'm crazy. Well, Nikki, I, I don't want to say that's completely what he was. But he was in it. He was like uh, choreographing it. So a white man owned the lot first. No one was there that day. That's what I'm saying. They were there that day. There were several players, and I keep going back to the T-Mobile store. Somebody in the store, in that window. It's shiny to me. <sighs> Y'all, I'm going to come back. Let me see what it said about the justice here. Because I, I had to do that. So I don't know. I, I'm sure I probably never will know. I don't know. Maybe somebody will let her hear this video. I just didn't want him to be worried. And I didn't want him to keep asking me. To do the reading uh, for her. To get the message to her. That he was very concerned. So it comes up again. The son which is his child. She's very emotional again. Right here. But it's. I wonder about the child. His child. And right now. Uh, Tanisha. Is very very emotional. She's a sensitive too. She's perceptive. She don't always acknowledge and she's not always honest. And she does not address the things that she needs to address or her dealing with herself the way she needs to be. Now I see another court person. There's getting ready to be some quick change. There's getting ready to be quick change in her life, Tanisha's life. And this is something dealing with legal. I don't know why now I'm seeing the court cards around Tanisha. 
and her child is coming up. The child is a joy. So I don't know if she's spending time with her. Okay, money is coming up. That's what this is about. The, the Queen of Pentacles. It looks like she's getting ready to get some money. From another woman that's very powerful, has money. It must be in Nipsey's uh, organization. She has the power to give her money and to help her, but the lawyer's here. So it must be something getting ready to happen to give her what she needs. She's drinking very heavily, and she's very depressed. It keeps coming up. And she's feeling very isolated. Y'all, I don't, uh, I guess he was, Nipsey was right. He was right. What, what he's saying, because every time I keep asking about her, she comes up as an empress. But also very depressed and walking away and drinking. However, she does get good news because the court thing that she's dealing with also ties into money. But you know what? It doesn't matter because she would rather have Nipsey. She would rather, and I don't blame her. I totally understand he's saying he still wasn't going to be with her. If he was going to be here, he said it would still be the rivalry and the arguing and the fighting. He said there was fighting. I don't know why. I wonder what's her and Lauren. Now, see, what I can tell about Lauren, Lauren might come off very pretty and prissy, but Lauren's pretty tough. And she is going to be the top dog. With her, it's going to be all or nothing. Both of them wanted the same thing. Both of them wanted the same man. But he had made his decision. And that was very difficult for Tanisha to take. You know, she still has not accepted. That's what the cards are saying. And that's what Nipsey's saying. She's not accepted. Well, oh, wow. She was like 15 or 16. Man, so he taught her how to take dick and everything. So, you know, she attached to him. And then I had a baby. Oh, Lauren Hood, too good. Child, I see Nipsey was off the chain. You know, child, you know what they said about them damn skinny men. So I don't, I don't know. He laughing. <laughs> I, I know. Yep, she's a Sagittarius. I know how they do. They're gonna be nice and elegant. Mm -hmm. Yes, I. The fuck are crazy. But see, they're not gonna do this shit in public. That they see. Or get down and fight too. He messed with them all. Really, Nikki? Go, they get attached to him. I see why. Because when I looked at this and the stuff that she was saying, I early thought just rolling my pussy. I said, what the wait? What that ain't me? That ain't me. That I see that with her. When he come round, he make up want to do that. And I said, <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, he make up want to throw it. You know what I'm saying? I, I said, well, God damn, I seen this a few days ago. I just had to put my hand on my shit. And that's great. I said, God damn, y'all, it was like that. He said, yeah, I want some more. I said, damn, Nipsey. And you got them. Lawson turn out like that. Cha. I seen that shit. I said, ooh, boy. They said, oh, he was laying the <sighs> Child allegedly called the, the Lion King. I just, you see how I was early that one in me? Spot a dick, cause that one in me. I just, you know, I thought it's, I thought feeling like I want the damn hula hoop. I thought rolling that they were doing some fucking shit. This shit came, this shit came up. I know they were doing some hard fucking, cause it came right there, and then the full assault. She depressed, cause the way they used to be off the train like that, and now he gone. She ain't gonna get that no more. 
Pots and why my shit popping at, at oh. <laughs> oh, okay. I think, damn. Let me get out, DP. Laugh. He don't care. He just opened the tip. I said, why you? And he said, okay. And he just told me. And I'm just, I said, oh, okay. Okay, then. Okay, I understand. You want me to say that? He said, yeah. And I said, oh, I hope she don't take this the wrong way. <laughs> what you say to me? <laughs> I will be depressed. Yes. I'll be drinking me some knuckle too. And snow that goddamn powder. Knowing I had some shit like that. And won't we'll get that shit no more. He tell me he's gonna give it to another bitch. And that that's the way Lawson turn out. Still want it. You know what I'm saying? So I done did. I, I hope he leave me alone by this message. Unless he got another message. Now I can finish the reading on him. And the serpent people. Because the serpent queen is all over this. And there are uh, who else? Abraxas is all over this. If you look at the demon Abraxas. It's also an angel. His two feet are made out of serpents. One of my friends Text me last night and said, girl, you're not going to believe this. I came out of the kitchen cooking and I stepped on something squishy. And I looked down, there was a snake called up in the house. She said, I don't know how it got in the house. I said, what? She said that uh, I think her grandfather, somebody came in there and they killed it and cut the head off. And I said, do you still have it? Because I want it. She told me, no, we throw it out there in the woods. I said, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody around me or I see something dealing with serpents. Because they're all through Nipsey's bloodline and they're all in here. So I literally got my statue that is a female serpent and it shares a baby. I sit it beside me. Um, I'm going to show you her on the next show. And I look at her as I'm reading this to have the energy around. I said, tell me what you want me to know. And that's, I'm really getting into this. And he stops me. <laughs> Why I got to send the main over there? Let me finish the reading first. Then I'll send the main over. Send the main over. You know, I seen Nips in that movie. I kind of know what he was off the chain then. Before he went to jail and that lady came in there, they ain't show the whole thing. And he had laid down and fucked at that lady up there in that damn movie. He said, I just got back from changing the story. Six, oh, beautiful. Six, six, six. I, I play that. Six, six, six. You know, so I know he was kind of held in. But then, the, 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 you know... He got on in it, then you know I, I'm, I, Lord, I apologize to y'all. I got the rolling Erica. I ain't, I, I didn't know that the spirit gonna get on me like that, so I could feel that girl body and feel her energy like that. You know, I really apologize for rolling my pussy on the damn live. I'm, well, at least I ain't stand up with this shit, but I felt like it. Goddamn, girl, I have a nigga like that. He better not leave my goddamn ass neither. Cause you know I can't take nigga got you like that popping your shit and teach you how to roll and teach you how to fuck real good and then call yourself don't want to fuck with you no more or get addicted to somebody else and tell you gonna have to accept this shit. I ain't got to accept a goddamn thing. Go see that. See you don't fuck with no nigga girl that get your ass like that and do that not just to your mind but girl do that to your ass like that. Cause you know you got a brain in your pussy as well as a brain up here. Cause you got that pussy memory. Because you know when a nigga shit ain't fat. When he come around, it's like, oh, uh, you know, this motherfucker right here. A nigga hit it. And you know he done went up in the mind of your pussy and stimulated your clit. And stimulated them walls and bust it wide open till you bring it back. And hit the bottom. You know your pussy going to start talking when the nigga walk in. Even if the demon that gets the nigga drive by and you see the nigga call, your pussy gonna start to fit. You gonna do that damn hula hooping that I'm talking about. 
know what I'm saying? Because your pussy got a mind in it. The fucker start quibbling. Start goddamn oscillating. Leaking. It go up in your mind up here. Next thing you know, you want to call the nigga. Even nigga ain't no damn good. You see what I'm saying? See your team. I don't, don't, you don't let nobody play no game with you like that. Want to give it to you and take it back. Give it to you, take it back. Fuck with another bitch and take it back. See, you can't do that. Because, see, nigga be done got fucked up. Huh? You don't let nobody play in your ass like that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to get a kind of goddamn understanding with your pussy. Y'all got to have some kind of pussy and dick agreement like that. You know what I'm saying? Just get up, yeah, yeah, don't shit, don't share shit neither. You don't compromise your pussy and share no damn dick between you and another bitch. But see, that's a vagina power show. See, I got to come back and teach these girls something called, see, now these women, oh, and I want to thank y'all, y'all are interested in the reading. I thank everybody that's come to me for readings and the donations. You know, you can contact me. At Alexis K. Tyler VP at gmail.com. I'll put it in the top if you're interested in getting a mini reading or a full reading. Because a lot of the women that are coming to me are like in their 20s and their 30s. And and this this is like the 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 millennium girls and grown women now, and they talk to me, and I'm like, wow, you don't know what vagina power is, and they're not standing in it. And they haven't been taught. So it's a whole, excuse me, group of women that I got to come and talk. Uh, since this reading all over the place is turning to be, no, no, it's not over the place. I'm, I'm done. I'm done with Tanisha. I said what I had to say about that. So no, I'm not all over the place. I'm, not, I'm, I'm very clear. And I'm just mentioning, you know, moving that into, you know, just having fun. And talking about the vagina power um, and the readings and letting people know. I mean, because this was a reading. So I also let, have to people, let people know it's not just a celebrity reading. I do. You can come to me and get the private readings as well. As And I also mentioned I do need to do not just the celebrity readings. I need to do new vagina power shows for 2019 because of the clients. See, this all ties in. The clients that come to me are women, young women that don't know who they are, don't know their power, which also ties into this reading that I just did because Nipsey wants this girl to know he loves her, but also it's changed and to stand in her power, stay alive, stay productive, change the bad habits, be a good mother to their daughter. So... I'm going to come back with other videos outside of the readings. Well, yeah, it, it didn't leave. I mean, I still got some of the videos up there. Everybody can see them on um, YouTube. But I do need to do the 2019 Vagina Power version. So I'm going to come back. And then I'm going to come back with another part of Nipsey, as I said. Uh, but I think I, I've said everything I had to say about this one. So y'all, I know y'all will be watching and y'all let me know if anything I said uh, applies to her so that we can determine uh, what I heard correctly. And then, oh, I'm going to come back soon so we can talk about Wendy. Wendy Williams and her girl putting that mane out. <laughs> Taking that car girl. <laughs> Firing that mane. Yes. We're going to have some fun. And I thank you all for joining me for another AKT Celebrity Read. I will do my best to see you soon. I'll come back next week. Love y'all. Bye.